Hey guys, Divine Dibella here, back with another video. Uh, we are looking at Vortex Mod Manager again. On the last video, we looked at how to download and install this mod manager, as well as getting the settings and everything set up for downloading and installing the mods. Now this video, I'd like to go over a couple of things. First, I wanna go over how you would import your mods from either Nexus Mod Manager or Mod Organizer into Vortex. This is actually how I started using Vortex myself. I did import all my mods from Nexus Mod Manager into this manager, and there is a way to do that very easily from Vortex itself. The other way, of course, is to just start with a clean slate by completely deleting all mods from Nexus Mod Manager and also deleting Nexus Mod Manager itself. Then from there, you would be able to just start fresh with downloading the mods directly from Nexus and installing them through Vortex. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Mods tab on the left hand side. And at the very top, there's options here. Now, the one that you're going to be looking at is import from. Now, if you click this, it's gonna bring a drop down. You either have import from Nexus Mod Manager or import from Mod Organizer, depending on which one you utilize before you transfer in and start with Vortex. So once we click from import from NNM, it's gonna bring you to this screen. You're going to want to go through the setup process to get all of the mods from Nexus Mod Manager imported into Vortex. That can take a while just based off of how many mods you have and also how big those mods are. A lot of graphical overhauls are pretty big in size, so it can take a little bit of time. But don't fret, once it's completely done, you'll have all the mods that you had in Nexus Mod Manager inside of your Vortex Mod Manager. The easiest way you're going to want to enable the mods is if you click one, scroll down all the way to the bottom to where your last mod is, press shift and then click. Now that's going to select all current mods in your mod tab. And you'll be able to either click enable or disable. And once you do that, you can see that it will start either enabling or disabling them. At this point, we're trying to enable them, so you'll be able to start seeing them one by one be enabled. So that will be the easiest way to do that. And once they are enabled, now the first thing that you're probably going to notice after they're enabled is you're gonna have a conflict here or a notification that says there are multiple conflicts for your mods. And if you look at your mods, you'll even see how there's these lightning bolts here. Mine are green because I've resolved the conflicts, but your lightning bolts will be red. Now, once you click the notification up here and you go to show, once it's telling you that there's conflicts, it will show you each and every conflict that you have and you'll see them all here. So for instance, I can also select here which mods have conflicts. These are all the mods that conflict with each other. However, you can see that they've all been resolved by me. And the way that you do that to get them to this point is you're gonna want to click on each of the lightning bolts. So they're all gonna be red. Keep that in mind. You'll click on the lightning bolt and it will bring you to this little tiny screen here. Now, right now we're looking at the top mod. So this is the mod that we're starting off with for conflict, which is white one HD alternative street textures. And we want it to either, you have, you're gonna click on the drop down here. You want it to either load before, load after, or no rule. Um, since it is a texture add-on for white run HD, you'll want to make sure that this loads after that mod and you'll have to take that into consideration and also know a little about how mods load into the load order and load into the game so for instance if you have a base mod like noble skyrim that basically covers everything in the game as far as textures but there are a lot of other additional mods not noble skyrim related but additional mods like the rustic mods or different textures for different uh, cities or holds that you would want to make sure load after noble skyrim 
Reason being is anything that loads after overwrites the mod that is before it. So since this is an alternative street texture for White Run HD, you'll want it to load after so that that texture will load into the game and will be the one that overwrites the original texture for this mod. You can also click here if you want to see the conflicting files. As you can see here, there's six conflicting files. If you're familiar with the way these are set up or what this means, you can look at those. Um, not a lot of people really know. All you really need to know is how the mods load into the game. So once you do that, you'll make sure it says where if it wants to load before or load after, click save, and then you'll notice that this will pop up and it will say deployment necessary. Now what it, that means is you're just going to deploy the mods so that it will register into Vortex the way that the rule is set up, and then that's how it will load into your game every single time. So I'll click load or deploy. Now once it's finished deploying, that notification will go away and that red lightning bolt that was there before will now be green. Now just keep in mind that any conflicts that you have, you'll wanna just make sure you pay attention. Again, look, let's click on one. Pay attention to what mod it's asking you to make the rules for. And then pay attention to the mods that you're either wanting to load before or after, just based off your knowledge of how the mods override each other. Now, another way, again, which you can download the mods into Vortex other than importing them is you can go straight to nexusmods.com itself. So let's go ahead and pull that up. So once we're at nexusmods.com, just make sure you're on the game that you're wanting to install mods for. For instance, I'm using Skyrim Special Edition. Once we're on the mod page here, what we're going to do is we're gonna to wanna to download it to our Vortex Manager. So I usually download straight from files. I never download from this download option up here. So I'll go to files. This is the file to download and you'll wanna click Mod Manager Download. Once it starts downloading, you can go back into Vortex and it's going to pop up a notification right here showing you that it's starting to download. And to the left, active downloads, it shows you what's downloading and how much the percent is until it finishes. So we'll let that download. And once it's done downloading, you'll see here that there's a notification saying download finished and it's asking you to install. So you'll wanna click install and it will start preparing and extracting. Once it does that, you'll want to make sure you click enable. Now that mod is enabled. Now once it enables, it's gonna start automatically deploying. Once it deploys, it's going to go through every mod to make sure that there is no conflicts and also ensure that the rules that you have in play for any conflicts you had before are still valid or haven't changed. So basically that's just an easy simplistic way of showing you what this mod manager can do so if you guys have any other questions or would like to see another video going more in depth on anything else vortex related please leave your comments and questions down below i appreciate your guys's time today i hope you guys enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel bye